think when we think about what makes entrepreneurs likely to be successful, we often imagine that it would be if they really show off their strengths, if they try to emphasize the positive qualities that they had. My thought was that some flaws might actually be able to make entrepreneurs more compelling by actually increasing the extent to which we feel a social connection with that entrepreneur. This was a question that I wanted to test in my research. So what we found is that flaws that actually uh, help to span social distance between two people, what I'll call bridging flaws, something like insecurity, actually helped entrepreneurs to connect with investors who themselves felt like they struggled with insecurity. But actually, entrepreneurs admitting that they uh, had uh, kind of an excess of confidence, that they were a little bit arrogant, actually drove investors away, particularly when they were investors who felt like they were insecure. It's important to know your audience. The disclosing flaws can be helpful if they build a social connection between two people, but if they fail to do so, then they could actually backfire. So rather than just openly disclosing all flaws, you should be thoughtful about which flaws you're disclosing and whether they help to build that positive social connection.